Hey guys, thought we'd do a quick tutorial on um, recovering wrecks for my force um, in the Armour 3 SAG um, clarifier. Basically, if you're playing Mike Force and you take out certain vehicles um, and you blow them up, like this one here, this was um, one of the um, gun trucks, um, it will um, create a wreck on the map. So you'll see here it's a wreck and uh, basically it will not respawn back at the base. So this was came from the ACAV base. If I want that, this object to respawn, to be available again, then I need to recover the wreck. Um, if you don't recover your wrecks and you um, blow up all your trucks or all the helis, then um, you basically run out of um, you know, vehicles you can drive. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, all you need to do is walk up to your wreck, scroll wheel on it, and you'll find package wreck for transport, and it will turn it into a nice container there, which you can then sling load and um, you know, or, or load into a truck and take it back to the Green Hornet's base. So I am going to cheat a little bit. Um, I'm going to teleport myself back to the Green Hornet's base with this and uh, we'll put it onto the uh, recovery zone. Alright, so here we are at Green Hornet's base and um, on the map here, you'll, we zoom in here, you'll see this section here, wreck recovery. So basically I've just got to drop my wreck onto you know that pad there that helipad will even do and um, you know within a couple of minutes that wreck will re will disappear and then it will respawn back at the uh, the appropriate base where it came from so if I just place the item here there it goes disappears and I will um, Send myself back over to ACAB and we'll see that that gun truck's back there. Here we are back at ACAB base and this gun truck here was in fact the one that we took out and uh, turned into a wreck and it's now respawned here. So that's your wreck recovery. Uh, basically all of these vehicles here, if you blow them up, they will not respawn unless uh, you recover the wrecks. Um, however, some transport vehicles, um, I believe you'll find all of these here, they will respawn if they blow up. Same with some helicopters and all the vehicles at the Mike Force base, I believe, are the same too. Another great feature of Mike Force is if you don't have a pilot in your group to provide you with some cars, you can actually call in airstrikes and artillery strikes yourself. Um, all you need is the radio operator training uh, from your duty officer here. So if I hit 6 and do my radio operator training, I'm now trained as that. And I can call in radio or airstrikes whenever I need them. Simply by using my scroll wheel and selecting radio support, brings up a nice little interface here where I've got my map uh, of where I want to select what the strike is, um, you know, what I am um, asking to be brought in and who's going to bring it in. Um, so we've got fire support, which is your artillery, and you also have air support up here um, to select here. So let's say I'll use air, um, my fire support, so I'll we'll be using artillery. I'll just do an illumination round, um, and we are going to call it in directly on top of me. Well, maybe a little bit to the, down the road, just down this area, and let's confirm. Savage 7, need illumination. Grid 0, Tango, Alpha. Enemy close. VT fire. Shot. Shot out. So we should see any second here an illumination round. Round complete. Splash. There it is right above us. So obviously the sun's still left there and the illumination round's coming down to the ground. Uh, and that's basically it. Um, that's your radio support. Now 
Another great feature built into Mike Force is if you do have pilots and you need um, pickup or close air support and uh, you're not sure how to call them in, then what you can do is you can use your combat diary to do the work for you. So I'm going to hit H for instance, I'm going to uh, request a support task. So if I hit uh, that, I'm going to collect squad please, I'm going to send it to the Green Hornets team, give them my position which will be right out the front here and I'm going to accept that and then I'm going to create the task. And what that'll do is that will pop smoke for us and it'll also assign a task to the Green Hornets team.